You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the number one station for independent artists. Hello. Hi, everybody. So my name is Raquel, and I am from Trendy Eats and the 805 Night Market. Oh, man. Yay. Oh, We're man. so excited I'm, I'm to so, have you. I'm so excited uh, to have you here. First of all, I'm, I'm going to gloat a little bit. I've been a fan for a while. Uh, I have been watching you guys. In fact, I got a quick story. Okay. Uh, Francois, who's not here, he's in England audience. He'll be back next week. Yes. Hopefully, yes, our other uh, other co-host. We were gonna try to do a food show, right? You guys were. We were gonna try to do a food show. Okay. And what we were gonna do was go to restaurants and highlight them and show, man, this is a great, this is a great spot. Then we seen Trendy <laughs> Eats. And we said, we're no longer doing, <laughs> it's, been it's done. over with, it's been done, <laughs> let's move on to something else. That's so somebody else's territory. Absolutely. So how did you get started? Like, how did that happen? Well, we could always bring that back. Can't I don't you know. You can come and be on Trendy Eats with us. Like, let's okay. Show. Oh, I am, I like that. I am I like interested that. in okay. that. Okay, okay, okay. I like that a lot. Involve me in anything with food. Absolutely. Yeah. So how did it get started? What happened? So... It's crazy because um, before we used to do, you know, marketing. We did like general I like paper graphics, you know, okay. websites, that type of thing. And, you know, I remember one time we had this restaurant um, and we did all of this paper marketing. We we're like, buy one, get one free, get a free taco, like come in, like these are the best tacos ever. Okay. And people would come for the free taco, but they wouldn't come back. And they so wouldn't come back. They were for, like, oh man. Oh, so, okay. that, what was the restaurant? Where, where was that? It was actually called Sabor. So, it's um, on 6th Street. It's been there forever. He makes bomb fish tacos. Okay. They're so good. Okay. Um, and when we did this this promotion, like, it just didn't work. And so, we we're like, so what are we going to do? He was like, you know, it's not working out. We're going to have to, you know, give it a break. We're like, man, like, we weren't so much bummed that we lost a client. We were bummed that we couldn't help him. Like, you know, we, right. we got really close with That's we, good. Yeah, we got really close with him and we're like, you know, we really want to help you out. So what right. do we do? So we went home, we were brainstorming, we were like, Well, what if we do a video? You know, people go to LA all the time because they see something on like the internet mm -hmm. or on the TV, they're like, right. We gotta yes. go try this place. So right. we're like, What if we just do a video and he has something that's super cool, you know, and we went to him, we're like, Okay, we're gonna do a video, we're gonna do a three foot burrito. Like a three foot long burrito, who's like, You're crazy. No one's going to come in here. A three-foot-long burrito. It was three feet long, enough for a How family fun. to share. It was your idea? Yeah, so we went home. We're based, and we're like, okay, everybody has tacos. Everybody has, right. you know, something similar. But what's, what's something different? that's going to drive different. Yes. them yes. to your restaurant? And so we're like, well, let's do a three-foot-long burrito. He's like, no one's going to buy that. No one's going to eat that. And we're like, let's just do it. It doesn't work. Look, don't pay us. Let's just try this out, see if it works. And he's like, okay, fine, let's do it. And so... We went ahead, we did the video, uh, we launched it. At this time, we didn't have Trendy Eats. It was just his page. So we put okay. it on his page. Right. And um, it went to like 80,000 views. Like wow. Whoa. One day to the next. The uh, burrito went viral. The burrito went viral. The burrito on, went viral. On your first video yeah. of doing that. That's no, crazy. And it was crazy because I didn't come out in it. It was just like pictures of like somebody putting it together. And then we had one of our friends, because I didn't want to come out eating food. My husband, he's like, just do it. Just bite the food. I was like, Your weird. husband, Javi. Javi. Okay, Javi, Javi. the camera guy. Shout out to Javi uh, to my right. I've been talking. <laughs> nice guy. And they have they actually Shout have out. a beautiful baby in the building. This is our first baby actually <laughs> here live. So if you hear the baby, she she's getting her shine on too. Yeah, so that's baby Sophie. Baby Sophie. She's so cute. She is. Yes, she is, she is. <laughs> so, um, then the next day we went to go see how he was doing and he was like, everybody's coming and there's people like lined up outside and we're like, Whoa. where did you come from? They're like, Santa Barbara, I'm gonna take this home for dinner. And you see people just like chowing down on this massive burrito in his restaurant. I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is how we can help businesses, you know, put mm -hmm. their name out there. Like what makes you different, really different. Right. And so that's kind do, of- Do people know this story? So this is like breaking news like right here. We're out. breaking it down to how we got started. That, that is so cool. So if I was to get the three-foot burrito, how would I take it home with, when I couldn't finish it? So because it was three-foot long, um, he would always cut it in half, put it in this massive tray filled with, like, chips, salsa, <sighs> like, all the works. It's literally like a meal in a box. Wow. Kind of That's crazy. That's I'm wondering great. if he had enough food the first time. That no, he did not. He was like, I ran out. Like, right. I, <laughs> I sent my son to the grocery store. Like, go oh, buy man. me some lemons. Wow. Like, no. Oh, man. That is that is crazy. Now, uh, were you initially the first person to host Trendy Eats? 
Yes. Okay. So initially, like I mentioned, I didn't want to come out in it, and then one day he was like, "Just do it." So I went ahead, and I was like, "Fine, you know." So you you you, you had reservations, eat. and you said, "This is not what I want to do." Yeah, I was like, "Who's gonna want to watch me eat?" Like people were gonna be like, "This is gross." Like no. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "Just do it." I mean, people watch people eat all the time. Yeah, it's a it's. People like just to watch other people's lives. Yes, honestly. that's true. That's <laughs> they true. They just do. It's are, true. Are you shocked by the amount of attention that you get when you're just eating food and you showing with? Are you shocked by how you know how much people are, you know, gravitating to what you're doing? Absolutely, because I think we initially started this because it was all about the business. Like we want the businesses to get their name out there. Right. We want to see how we can help people. You know, right. entrepreneurs. It's hard. Business owners. It's hard. This past year super hard for everybody and so we're like how can we keep helping them and then everything else like following you know mm-hmm. when people recognize you on the street which i'm i don't think i'm ever gonna get used to i'm like oh Hi guys. <laughs> i'm like the awkward person in the corner yeah wow um it's all a byproduct yeah. of something that started for a different reason what a blessing so, that and and i think that maybe because you started off that way that is why you're so successful like it came from a good place in your heart you yeah, know, you didn't even want to do it, and now like, everyone's showing you so much love. Right, and, and wanting the business just to succeed, you know, not not even anything for yourself. You know, that that's pretty awesome of that story, yeah, your origin you. story. No, yeah, uh, there's, a, there's a guy that's going to be at the 805 market. We'll talk about that. And he has a food truck, Schaefer's Kitchen. So when he told me about the 805 market, I'm like, wait a second. Let me do some research. And mm-hmm. uh, Javi's contact was there. I called him up. And it sounded like he was in the kitchen. He was really busy. Right, and I'm like, hey man, I'm 99.3. I want to tell. He was like, who? Who is this? Like, it, it was it was kind of crazy, but um, he told me about the 805 market, my friend. And when I seen the flyer, I was like, but we gotta be there. It's gonna oh, be yes. how many people or vendors are gonna be at this place? So we have about 100 vendors. We actually put a cap on it for the first year because we wanted to kind of make sure that you know all the vendors were able to like you know present themselves we didn't mm-hmm. want too many repeat of the same product so Good. there were so many applications we were so grateful that everybody wanted to be a part of it but we definitely want to do this in a larger scale the following year you know right now we're in a pandemic it's kind of hard to put together events make sure True. everybody's safe and at the same time we still want to make sure that these businesses can benefit from showcasing what they have to offer so of we have about uh, 50 food vendors and about 50 um Non-food vendors. Okay. So it's That's kind of a mix. Of still everything. a lot of uh, food vendors. Yeah. And this is your be... first one, right? Yes. Wow. Yeah. In fact, I was telling Junior, he's like, what am I going to eat? I go, oh, we're, we're going to eat several things that yeah. day. We I... have to go to several food trucks. I mean, yes, how can I, we not? I'm really, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I really don't know because there's so many vendors out there. I, there's this hot chicken place that I'm really interested in looking. Oh, you, she's raising her hands on that <laughs> one. I'm interested in checking it out. I love the photos. I love what they're, I don't even know the name of the, the business. Gordo's Hot Chicken. There you go. With the oh, Gordo's okay. sauce. With, okay, so you, you're a fan. This. You've been there yes. before. Is it that good? It is. Good. It is that Handsome. good? Oh man, there's going to be a big line for that food truck. There is always a line. And you know, when they post up anywhere, like you know you want to get there like in the first couple of hours because by the time you get there, when wow. they say they're going to leave, they're sold out. Like there's just... Oh, there's so, so, so many places there. You so. just pop open the honey packet and you just drizzle <laughs> it on top. Oh, I'm learning some good tips so good. for now, next let me weekend. Ask you, when you're actually doing the videos with your husband, Javi, are people are just like focused on you when they're in the restaurants and they're like what's going on here or do they know who you are or I try not to think about it because I'm like oh okay it's one thing for people to watch me virtually which is already kind of weird you know I got salsa on my cheek (laughs) yeah yeah and I'm like all right and then if they're in the restaurant I'm like oh okay he'll be like I can't hear you talk louder yeah I'm just gonna take a bite of the taco louder I'm like okay has what? it has that ever do you ha- so do you go and ask the um, restaurants beforehand yes to okay so you go and ask them so sometimes they reach out and they're like hey you know I have this amazing product can you guys come and try it and we're like okay cool sometimes um, we'll do like a day where we'll go try different products okay and then some of them will be like oh we would really love for you to like do a video like can how do we get featured and then we just kind of take it from there okay and so uh, we get the question all the time. Do you ever try something that you don't like? That was my question. And yes, I mean, it's impossible for us to like everything. Of course. But the point of our channel is to share about things that we do enjoy. So yes, we've come across dishes that we don't like, but we don't see the point 
in saying, oh, this place was awful because everybody has room for growth. Everybody can true. improve. And everyone's so. taste palette is a lot different as exactly. well. Exactly. Absolutely. So so leading to what you've already answered, have you tried something and it was just gross? Yes. And, you, and you're filming? and Well, how do you get past that? So luckily this was for, um, we had gone to this uh, like foodie event. Are you going to name the place? Thing. No. Okay. Okay, and all right. I was like, no, please don't name the place. Okay. No, they have several of them all over, like, throughout the United States and whatnot. And they had, like, these little... Have you guys ever been to Porto's? I, know, I've never been. No. Okay, so Didn't they, been? they have okay. these potato bowls. Okay? Oh, I, I have. have I have those. been there. I didn't know the name. Okay, so yeah. But I they, love them, though. Okay, so they're good. You know what they look like? Nice golden brown. Yes. You know, they're going to be soft and yeah. steamy on the inside. Savory. Everything is just good. They had something that looked almost identical to it. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, these are potato balls. I didn't even okay. think to look at this. I was like, can I get three of those, please? <laughs> three. I'll take three. <laughs> I'll take three of those. <laughs> three. And so I was so excited. I was like, recording this is going to be great. I bite into it, and it was like these balls of like mashed like squid oh. and like oh, seaweed. Nice. I don't know. And seaweed. Or like sea not what you were expecting. And it was not <laughs> potato balls. Like this was like definitely wow. not it. And it, it was, it was the first time I, I was like, I gagged and I was like, I can't do this. Like, what did I just oh try? Oh my god! Wait, Javi, were you recording when she was eating it? Uh, yeah, I was zooming, yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness! So, <laughs> did you not did you not like the dish because it didn't taste good or because it just wasn't what you were expecting? I think that's where I'm gonna get to. I think it's like I was expecting something completely different, right. so my brain was just like taken by the side, like side blinded, like what is this that I'm tasting? I was like, oh, this is not a potato ball. Oh, how Maybe funny. if I had approached it knowing what it was, I would have had like an open mind. Okay, you know, this kind of tastes like, or I can yeah. compare this to like yeah. knowing like it's not going to taste like potatoes and ground beef. But as soon as you bit into that, you're like, no, nope, I'm <laughs> this done. This is not it. Yeah, yes. this is not it. This is not it. So uh, let me ask you another question. Uh, with vendors, so many of them are trying to be part of what you guys offer. Uh, is there any animosity that vendors have reached out many times and you they felt like, you know, they're not hearing us out or? Um, no animosity. I think we've tried to do like our best getting back to everybody, um, you know, letting them know you have been approved, you haven't. Right. Um, we just recently started sending out emails to those that we weren't able to approve that we would love to have back. Oh, that's good. Next year, you know, because we do want to be able to like switch out the vendors to give everybody an opportunity or get a big enough space and obviously when you have a big enough space you want to make sure that you have enough people sure. for these vendors you know for enough for everybody for people to enjoy so they don't right. have to wait in super long lines you know for vendors to be able to showcase their product and right. just have it be a win-win so it's it's really like this mathematical scale that you have to put together and it's hard yeah <laughs> it's i mean really it, it sounds like it's a lot uh dealing with a food truck alone is hard do you guys actually cook on your own at home at home, sometimes. okay. At home sometimes. Not as much as I would like to. <laughs> okay, this is this gives me to another question. Since you guys go so many places to eat, do you say, hey, we've done so much work for you, we could just gonna like, get a free meal here? No. Okay, all right. No. Do people <laughs> offer you guys free meals? Yeah. Yes, they do. They do, okay. But we definitely don't walk in anywhere. Hey, you know, like, can we hey, get a free meal? Hey, you know meal? what I did for like, you. Oh, Hook me up. Right. Okay. No, okay. That, that's weird. That's, that's weird. I got you, I got you. I'm sorry, uh, that's something I would've did. <laughs> hey, I put you on, man. <laughs> give, me, give me the burger. No. Uh, that's pretty That's pretty funny. So, uh, man, we're going to get actually into a song right now. And you guys may not know this, but we have a thing called Sip Tea or Light It Up. If the yes, song is not our cup of tea, we actually sip a little tea and we explain uh. why we don't like it or why it's not to our favor. And, Missy, you have a lighter? And if it is fire, yeah. Missy, what do we do, Missy? We light it up. We light uh. it up <laughs> and we put it into rotation for the next 30 days. If, so if the consensus is there, if the consensus is there, so we all typically have to have to agree. I know you guys have the baby, have places to go, but we would love for you to listen in to at least one of our songs and oh, yeah, kind of join in. Uh, yes, indeed, we are back. That was I have an idea by I am nobody, Imavi Zachariah and Josh J. That's right. So you know. I guess it's my bad. I thought Missy had heard the song and I sent it to her. Oh, I did hear the song. Okay, but she heard it live in the studio, so this is actually even better. I don't know what you're going to do, Missy, but are you sipping tea or lighting it up? I am going to be lighting it up for okay, this song. Okay, now, now this is... I'm going to be lighting it up for this song. Okay. I like the instruments. You in like the song. instruments? Yes, it had a good energy to it. It wasn't like too... 
like too slow. It had a the instruments definitely hit for That's me. That's normally not your style, though. It's not. The R and B normally you sip tea to the R and B. But it had a good energy. Okay. The, the it, thing is, I don't like it when songs are like sappy. Just like go on and on, and it's like okay, get to the point. But <laughs> <laughs> when it has like some like this new jazz good, to like, it, artistic creativity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. You could hear the harmonies come in. You could hear the instrumentals kind yeah, well, of. Yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly. Well, uh, well uh, Raquel, how you feel about it? You want to sip tea or light it up? How do I you feel? Light it up. You, All you, right. You, let her light it up. So, <laughs> so Raquel is also lighting it up, and so everything you said, you like the instrumentals as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Like, okay. You could hear like the. The saxophone come in, then you hear mm -hmm. oh, the little melodies kind of twinkle in, just sprinkled all over. Oh it. yeah, yeah, like a little jazz. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let, yeah. let me let me catch that light a little as yes, well. Let me there catch you that go. light. I, I'm obviously I'm lighting it up okay, too. Okay, that's I'm right. I'm lighting it up, and they got the guy on there that's on a Kendrick Lamar album as well. Uh, Zachariah, when we posted it on the Instagram, he he listened and followed. I said, oh, great, wow. yeah, that's you know awesome. that Thank is you. awesome. So I'm lighting it up. Obviously, we all agree. Raquel agrees. That's the majority. It gets into rotation for the next 30 days. That's right. Congratulations to them. Uh, but let's get back to the 805 market and any other things that you guys want to talk about. Before so you I, I had a couple questions, actually. Um, the first one I want to start with is, can you tell us a little bit about the safety measures that you are implementing during the night market? So obviously, we are encouraging everybody to try to maintain their distance and follow CDC guidelines. You know, unvaccinated guests, please wear your masks. Okay. Um, obviously, we're not going to make them mandatory, but we would like you to be, you know, mindful of other people, families, children, right. you know, that may be there. Um, we want to create a safe environment for everybody to enjoy. Um, we are going to have hand washing stations, sanitizing oh, stations. Wow. Um, so hopefully, you know, there's enough space. We The reason that we didn't accept too many people also as far as vendors is because we did want to give it enough space where people could venture out and kind of space out when they're enjoying either something that they bought because it's for their kids. Right. We're going to have a kids area, right. which is also outdoors. Um, if you're eating, we're going to have seating. Um, we just want to make it in a way where it's enjoyable. There's enough space for everybody to kind of get by and have several different activities where not everybody's going to be crowded in at the same place. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's going to be pretty awesome. And how many people are we expecting um, at this market? So originally, we only anticipated, you know, maybe like two thousand people. We're like, okay, that's throughout the day. You know, people coming and going. You know, mm -hmm. there's enough space for everybody to come in and come out. So we actually put up an Eventbrite just for planning purposes, so we can know exactly what we needed to do safety and so on okay um and we have about fourteen thousand fourteen thousand wow yeah so it's definitely People are excited <laughs> yes from Congrats. two thousand for what you expected to fourteen thousand that are reserved. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very That's much. So this is already a hit hobby. And you said it was the <laughs> first time, right? Yes, the <gasps> very first time we're doing wow. the night market. This is. I'm gonna be telling. She's you, stuttering. I'm sure I don't. People, just, I'm sure people are gonna be continuing to give you applications all year long, saying, "All right, remember me for next year." Yes. Yes, that would be amazing. You know, we'd love to have them participate. Yes. So. Uh, well, we're gonna be there. Obviously, we're gonna be walking through, trying all the foods out. Hopefully, we, where will you guys? I be? need to reserve my ticket. <laughs> walking around. You're gonna be walking around too, to enjoying like, what you put together. Enjoying and you know, trying to make sure that it's going well for everybody who's attending. Good. That's you good. Know? That's this good. This is for the community. It's for everybody to enjoy. You know, we put together a digital food experience and shopping experience and so on, but we want to create it, you know, physically where everybody can enjoy it together. And that is awesome. That is pretty awesome. That, go ahead, go ahead. Go I ahead. was going to say, so I'm sure you've been to almost any and every restaurant that's been in the area, right? I'm sure. Okay. Well, there's <laughs> so many. Like, if you think about it, how many new businesses open every single oh, that's month? That's true. Okay. Very true. Okay, good. There's so many. So I was, was wondering hard. about that. Yeah. Okay. So, because I was, was going to ask you guys when I was looking you up, doing my research, thinking, I know you guys focus on, like, Southern California area, right? Mm -hmm. I was thinking, I wonder if they would ever go to, like, New York for a month and oh. just go to check out a bunch of restaurants, you know, or go to, like... 
Texas for a month and go check out all the different restaurants and that food there. Amazing. Have you guys ever thought about that? So before the pandemic, we were actually beginning to plan to travel out to Chicago and Florida okay. and different places on the East Coast and out of town because um, people would reach out. You know, we want you to come try food. We're like, well, if we have several places in one area, we can right. go and make a trip out of it. And make sure that we can, you know, highlight the food and the places that you can stay and, you know, a variety of different things and make it, like, a national experience. Wow. Still keep it local, but then give right. options. Like, if you're going to travel, why don't you check out this place? You know, we, we right. got invited to Mexico um, by the Board of Tourism, and so we went to Sinaloa. Wow. And we tried their seafood. Oh, my God. Wow. Some of the best seafood I've ever tried. We all got to go to Sinaloa. Let's just can, all can go. Can I ask you a okay, question? Okay, let's go. What is, what's the top... <laughs> Uh, the top, if you have, I would say top five, top five food trucks, oh, it's so hard. top five food trucks that that you've had. I always get asked this. And question. it's no it bias to the so rest of the food. Hard. Hey, look, guys, put it on me. I asked the question, but it is so hard. It's so okay. hard. Okay. So, if you're looking for seafood, I would probably do Sea Sand. They make these delicious like seafood tower, different flavor, aguachiles, okay. tostadas. Okay. Like, it's Ooh, good. Yum. They sell you their michelada, like, mix. You can go home, enjoy michelada. That's what I would go for. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you would go for, okay. Hot chicken. Obviously, you know, we got gordos. Oh, yes. Oh, we talked about them. We okay. We talk about gordos. Um, if you want some good al pastor tacos, you know, you can go to Juarez. Juarez tacos, really good. Okay. Um, let's see. It's it's so it's, hard. it's so hard. That's three. That's three, though. Like, it's hard to pick between, like, birria, because there's just so many. They all make okay. it so different. What about, like, dessert food trucks? <sighs> dessert food trucks. That's Still hard? That's a good one. What's a really good... Javi, throw a one. Dessert food truck that you would say is, like... Dessert food truck. Do we have even food truck? Dessert food trucks? Yeah, we have mm -hmm. Kona. I mean, I'm always up for, like, oh, a Kona. shaved ice. Kona. Shaved but ice, okay, yeah. Cream. What would you say is, like... Bottles ice cream, like, at the food festival. True. It's, so you just, it's you hard. really have a lot. You just, it's hard. To it's <laughs> hard, you know, because like they all have their own style, their own way of making things. And it's really hard to pick just one, awesome. you know. And I'm sure there's different days where you're in a different moods for the different exactly. spots. <laughs> like, yes, I know this spot usually is my favorite taco spot, but I really want tacos from that one over there, you know. Exactly. And sometimes I'm just like, hey, you know, I just want to eat at home. Like, yeah, I just want a bowl of cereal. There you go. <laughs> like, Frosted I'm, Flakes. Let's go. I'm good. Absolutely. So before we let them go, I want to get into a trending topic really quick. And then we're okay, going to. Okay. I was hoping you would say that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. cool. Because one of our trending topics um, is about the Camila Cabejo and her new Cinderella movie that has released on Amazon this weekend. Did anybody see that? I saw that it was going to come out, but I didn't see it. I was going to wait for my daughter. So I have two daughters. I have a stepdaughter okay. from um, my husband's previous relationship. I love her to death. Noticed okay. that she was a baby, so I watched her grow. It was like having a baby without having a baby, and then yeah. I got the baby. Yeah, you got the baby. But I wanted to watch it because me and her, we watch movies together okay. all the time. Like, we'll sit there, popcorn, PJs, that all day. That is so cute. And I I'm love like, that. This one. How we old is she? She's going to be eight this year. Oh, how so cute. Her birthday is actually the day before the festival, so she'll be eight. So the how movie, the, and the movie came out? With so, yes. So the movie um, came out actually this weekend. And I, I understand what you mean by waiting for, for someone because my niece, I'm that way with my niece. And I'm like, okay, I got the popcorn. It's <laughs> girls' night, you know. So, Big question, um, did you watch it? If I have did, not I watched it. Know. I have <laughs> not watched it. No, I haven't watched it. Um, I usually don't watch movies when they come out anyways. <laughs> or like right then and there. I'll, I'll wait. And oh, what? I just don't. I don't. Okay, and right. like when the pandemic wasn't here, I used to go to like the $5 movie theaters. I'm like, when it's been already out for a couple months, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah, just yeah. wait until the, the movie is cheaper. I, I feel you. Okay. Okay. So anyways, so she um, is the first Latina to play, to play, to play Cinderella. Cinderella. That's, yes. that's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. That is pretty yeah. cool. So she's um, Cuban and she's very proud of that. Um, it's actually her first acting gig as well. So she's a singer, but this is her first acting. And she got a movie, you guys. A I mean, role in a movie. ever since that's she left crazy. the group, it's been on and popping pretty for her. well for her, her yeah, career. Yeah, it has. Okay. Well, the re um, she made headlines for plenty of reasons this week, um, but at the premiere, she passed out on the premiere, and she did not do it on camera. Oh. She didn't do it, like, on the carpet, but she came, like, back from the dressing room or something and was like, 
yeah, okay, okay, guys, I just passed out, but you know, we're all good, we're all good. Like, let's just continue going on. <laughs> what, oh whoa, God, I mean, no. that's a that's a problem, right? You okay, know what I was no big deal. No big deal. Yeah, we're all good. Let's just ignore it. <laughs> Okay. Oh so I'm it, thinking it was her nerves. Yeah, possibly. I mean, a big movie like that, it's on Amazon? A on Amazon, It's on yeah. Amazon? Mm -hmm. Big okay. movie like that, first first acting gig. That's awesome for you her. You know, That's it was awesome. the premiere. I'm sure it was the nerves, but can you imagine oh my fainting? So yeah. scary. Have yeah. you guys ever been that nervous? No. Uh, I haven't been that nervous to faint before. No, I haven't. But I felt like so nervous, my heart's coming out of my chest. Like, okay. Uh, uh, What's we, happening right you now? You were about yeah. to faint. I was close. I was close to being like her, Camilla. But yeah. So anyway. But it's it's like the epitome of well, the show must go on. You know, yeah, she's I like, it's yeah. my premiere, and I'm not gonna miss it. I, I don't understand. care exactly. if I passed out. Yeah. 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 But she looked great on on um, on the carpet. And, and you're gonna you're gonna check it out as well. I right? am. It's okay. on my list. It's yes. On list. She's gotta come home. She's at Walt Disney World. And yeah. I'm like, oh, this movie and is just And she might right notice there. you too. She might, yeah, she, might. she might notice you too. Yeah, trendy sheets. She might notice you. You never, you never know. Uh, you never we want to say thank you guys for coming on the show, yes, ninety nine three FM. Thank you for having us. Uh, it's been a great interview. I wish the baby could get on and say a little thing, I but you know. know she's really cute. Coming to her mom right now. Thank Javi for coming as well. Yes, thank you. Javi. And you guys, listen. The eight oh five night market is going to be on September the eleventh. Uh, what's the time for that, actually? So it's going to be September 11th from yes. 4 to 10 p.m. 4 to 10 p.m., so, okay. So um, we're going to be putting up a map with areas where people can park. You know. Oh, that's great. So it'd be nice if, you know, families come together in cars to give ability for everybody to, you know. That's awesome. That's a great tip. What a what great that? tip. We're going to have that Oh, yeah. They're going to have dance crews as so well? we're going to have um, hip-hop dance performances. Da so you got performances there. We got performances, yes. Yeah. So we're going to be having Eminon and then the owner or the, the choreographer or director, right? Yeah, he's What's his, whole, like, what's his title? Show. Director? What's his That's name? Like Byron? Byron? Okay. At Byron Bukow. <laughs> Is it Byron Ward? <laughs> <laughs> Byron Ward's coming? Sorry. <laughs> so he actually helped us put together the performances and he's gonna have um, one of his good friends help us MC the performances. I'm even more excited for these dance performances than the food. You don't even know. <laughs> you you just like blew my mind saying that you're gonna have performances. So uh, <laughs> thank you for that. I'm no, so excited. We're excited. We really I know I'm not it the only be, one. Yeah, we wanted to you know have a place for these kids to really show their artistic talent. You know what they've been working hard on. I mean, especially wow. with this pandemic, like where can they really showcase it? So right. this is an opportunity for them to kind of come out and you know, share with the world what they've been that's working on. That's awesome. That's real. That's really cool what you guys are creating and making space for. And I know this is definitely not going to be the last. I know it's the first of very many, that's what many we're for. Oh, you know, it's, it's, it sounds like it's a success already. I, I took a few uh, shots of you and the baby together. Oh, yeah. I'm going to send that to you guys. Uh, you. We had a great time so with you guys cute. and you are Thank family. You. You're invited back whenever you want to. Any Absolutely. projects you're working on, Thank you hit so us much. up. Let you know, know, you have our platform. We will share it with you. Uh, but we're going to get into some songs. But uh, make sure you guys go to the 805 Night Market, September 11th, 4 to 10. We will be there. So yes. with the other 14,000. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, absolutely. So, uh, hey, California. We'll the Voters' Choice Act makes it easier to vote. 29 counties open voting centers early. The California gubernatorial recall election is September 14th. Plan your vote now. Find out if your voting center is open early at myvca.sos.ca.gov. That's myvca.sos.ca.gov. A message from the California Secretary of